Welcome back students. In this video lesson, we will learn menu driven program. Before going to program, we will learn the algorithm of menu driven program. A list of tasks are displayed as menu for the user using printing statements. So we will simply print the tasks. Then user will choose whichever task to be performed. Then programming codes are written to perform all the tasks using selection statement to match the options given. Here we can use switch case statement or if else statement that depends on the question given. When given choice is matched with the option for the task, that particular task will be performed. In case user gives a wrong choice, then appropriate message is displayed using printing statement. So if it is switch case we are using, then it will be in default, otherwise in else part. We will create a menu driven program for two tasks. That is to find the factorial of given number. The other one is to accept a number and print its factors. So it should print appropriate message for wrong input given by the user. Let us go to the program. I will create a class called menu. To take the input from the user, I will import scanner class. So import java dot util dot scanner class menu we will declare the variables for choice we need integer variable so int ch i give for choice and then we are going to find the factorial and factors of given number so we need a number to take so for that i will give n as the variable to use in a loop i will give i now let us create object for scanner class Now we are going to print all the menus available here. So let us print so I am just giving menu and in the new line it will print option 1 as to find factorial and then again in new line 2 will be to find factors and also we will say enter your choice Now we will take the input from the user that is we have given as choice right ch is equal to sc dot next int of. After taking the choice from the user we have to take a decision to which choice to be executed. For that we will use switch case here. So switch then that will be choice here. If user enters 1 and then we will give case 1 for that the program code for finding the factorial of that number. Here we need one more variable called f for factorial we will take. So int f is equal to 1 we will initialize. Now we should take the input from the user for the number which factorial is required. For that we will give system dot out dot print line of we can say enter the number to find factorial so 
so we can do just print here we have already declared as n so n is equal to sc dot next int of we already learned how to find factorial in previous program we have to use for loop so for i is equal to 2 i is lesser than or equal to n so up to n it will do then i plus plus so here f is equal to f into i so this will find the factorial now we will print the factorial n is the given number plus we will write the factorial symbol here and then also equal to then plus f let us have one more space here then after this we will write break statement if you forget break and then case 2 also will get executed so we should not forget break now i will write case 2 for the second choice case 2 we need a user input for find the factors of a number so i will just copy this and paste here then later this i will write a code to get the factors of the number if given number is divisible by a number and then the divisor is called a factor including one and the number itself are factors to print all the factors we will give the for loop and find whether a number is divisible or not so i starts from one i is lesser than or equal to n then i plus plus if n mode i is equal to zero it is a factor so we will print the factor so we will give system dot out dot print line of so i plus one comma we will give you can also add one sentence here factors are factors of plus I'll give n so that is the n number given r so it will print factors r and then the same line it will print so in same lines I take this ln now we will break this now we should not forget to give the default statement we will give invalid input so here we copied both our factorial let us change this enter the number to find factors let us compile this so enter your choice i enter as 1 enter the number to find factorial we know 120 is for 5 so i give 5 the answer is right now let me check for the second case i am giving 2 as the input so factors now i say 21 so factors of 21 are it is given there now let us also check by giving invalid choice I give 5 for example so invalid input it says always we can expect one menu driven program for the board examination the task given may be different but most probably there will be one menu driven program students I hope this would have been very useful for you to learn menu driven program 
keep watching my channel learn well thank you students